Loads to talk about. Let's get right into it. There, there was some more fallout from the investigation into the Trump campaign. As you know, yesterday, the FBI raided the office of Donald Trump's lawyers looking for evidence of hush money paid to Stormy Daniels and other women. Well, President Trump responded on Twitter declaring, attorney-client privilege is dead. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, attorney-client privilege is when guilty people are able to talk freely to their lawyers about how incredibly guilty they are. <laughs> so you can see why Trump is angry about this. Um, <laughs> you have to give it to Trump, though. This is impressive. Do you know how hard it is to tweet and shred documents at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Minutes later, Trump also tweeted one of his favourite reactions to these ongoing investigations. He tweeted, a total witch hunt. <laughs> uh, he's really upset. I mean, either that or this tweet is just his review of the actual, real 2005 Stormy Daniels film, The Witches of Brestwick. <laughs> We didn't make that up. <laughs> I wonder if that's what all these witch hunt tweets are. He's just... <laughs> this film is a total witch hunt! <laughs> um, and this is a huge story. Today, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg testified in front of Congress about the company's failure to protect millions of its users' private information. Here's a photo from the testimony today that's been making the rounds. Right after that, Zuckerberg was like, hey, guys, don't forget to tag me in these. <laughs> Uh, here's a brief exchange from today's hearing. See how Zuckerberg reacts when his own privacy is invaded. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh... No. <laughs> We're having fun, aren't we? <laughs> you let Russia pick the president, but it's nice that we can have a good laugh about it. Isn't it? <laughs> it was a pretty rough few hours for Zuckerberg. He took a lot of criticism, or, as the headline on Facebook said, brave CEO delivers inspirational speech. <laughs> uh, moving on, the workout company CrossFit is now getting into the meal delivery business, but their meal kit is getting mixed reviews because... Well, it isn't really a meal. It's nothing but 10 pounds of raw meat, right? <laughs> Here's a photo of what you get delivered to you in your CrossFit box. <laughs> I know, and you thought your dog chased the mailman before. <laughs> it's just giant slabs of meat all packed together. Oh, no, wait, that's a CrossFit class. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The way the workout program works is CrossFit leaves you raw meat on your front porch. You eat it, get infected by E. coli, and immediately <laughs> lose 20 pounds. <laughs> and finally, we had to show you this. A Wheel of Fortune contestant lost $7,000 after completely solving a puzzle, but then he... Well, take a look. All right, carefully, what's up there? Flamingo dance lessons. Sorry. Explain it. So, uh, to, to explain, what, what we all heard was, and I know you didn't mean to say it, but you gave us a G instead of a C. <laughs> he said flamingo and not flamenco. It's so important to pronounce things correctly. Otherwise, you can create a controversy. <laughs> wow. That joke went right into the urinal. <laughs> he was gracious in his loss, but before he left, he asked Pat Sajak for two additional letters. He asked for an F and a U. 